Hello and welcome to a um, Creative Tap tutorial. Um, in this session we are going to be looking at um, one of the new features of After Effects which is uh, converting um, these shape points to nulls so we can control them each individually. Now just to put that into perspective if we wanted to move between in an older version of After Effects between a cube and this shape by here um, we would have to simply set a keyframe for the path. Now this keyframe can, would contain data for each of these points um, so they would more end up morphing together then this keyframe would contain other positional data for each of these points. It has eight points worth of data and you know it, it gave you that it gave you that morphing lock which is good but um, it didn't give you that much control okay whereas if we look at so obviously you've got this animation here where they all go together but if you come into here, you've got each of them going individually. Now, obviously, one of these points has got a wiggle on there. So if we just get rid of that, we've we've um, got each point animated individually. So what we've got is see all of these null objects. We can um, tell After Effects to export each of these points as a null. So we can animate them individually. And then when we've got them on in different layers like this, we can offset them. And, you know, even if we wanted to add a wiggle to a certain point like I sh had earlier, alt click, wiggle five times a second by 80 pixels. There we go. Now, just one point of that path has got a wiggle and to do that before would have been very very difficult it, it, you'd have to go on such a long way around but now you can do it in a matter of minutes so I'm just gonna dive on in and show you how to do that okay so I'm gonna create a new composition like so and I'm gonna call it shape morph there we go five seconds 1920 by 1080 that's fine so I just want a new solid for the background uh, blue's fine, let's call it BG for background and I want to get this shape tool, this rectangle tool and draw a square so hold shift <clears throat> let's rename this to shape morph and I want to center my anchor point so if I hold control and double click the pan behind tool it centers my anchor point and I want to center this to the composition as well there we go um, <clears throat> so the way we start off is we need to, first of all, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight points here, okay? Um, so I need to give my square eight points before I start. Um, so what I need to do first is come on into the uh, rectangle path, and I want to right click and convert to Bezier path. And um, what I want to do now is get my add vertex tool. And I want to add um, a, sorry, don't want to add any handles. I want to add a vertex here, 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 and here. Now, the way we would have done this before is we would have done, done it all up to this point, And then I would have set a keyframe, come forward a second, and I would have gone in and started moving each point individually, like so. Okay and then you would have animated them all together. Uh, that's all very well and good, but that's not what we want, so I'm going to delete those keyframes. There we go. Now, I've still got um, all these uh, points on the path, um, but this time what I want to do is make sure my path is selected, go to Window, Create Nulls from Paths, and I'm going to go through... You've got three options. You've got Trace Path, uh, you've got Nulls Follow Points, but we want Points follow the nulls that we create. And I'm going to go through the um, trace path and nulls follow points in a separate tutorial. I'm going to really delve into this tool and bring out a nice big project. Um, this is just like a sort of quick tip intro into it. So I'm going to click this first one, points, which are these, follow nulls. And make sure you've got your path clicked, otherwise it won't work. Okay, <clears throat> so let's X out here. And what you've got is you've got all these nulls, for, a null for each point, okay? So I'm going to minimize this, and if I bring up the position, let's come to the beginning, and I bring up the position for each of these, I'm going to set a keyframe for each of them, and I'm going to come forward 10 frames. So a quick way to do that is hold shift and go page down, and it'll jump forward 10 frames. Now, 
the shape I want to get is this shape. It doesn't matter what shape really, but that's just the shape I'm going to go for. So I'm going to get these top and bottom nulls. This one, I know this one needs this point needs to move in. And so does this point. And you can see as I'm moving the null, it's linked to the points on the shape path. Um, so that's 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 what it's doing. I know these ones, I want these to come outwards. Like so, and I'm just doing mine quite quick, quite rough. Normally, actually, I would use this um, grid so I can see how far I'm moving them. Uh, you can when you do yours, but I'm doing mine very very quickly just so I can, you know, show you what I'm doing or, and how this works. So move this in like so. I can't remember what shape I was going for again, but let's just go for something kind of along the lines of this. So move them in. I may need to tweak a few of these points actually because it's not getting the nicest of shapes. But again, I am rushing this just so I can kind of show you exactly what this tool is capable of. So let's very quickly bring in these points. This, can, this null can come in a little bit more. And you can see it's actually the nulls I'm moving, not the points. Um, I think, to be fair, this is kind of, it's getting there at least, isn't it? You can see how each null I move is moving a point. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to turn my grid off, okay? And you can see it does it all together at the moment. And it's not it's not the nicest of shapes, um, but I'm not going to fiddle around with it anymore. I'm just trying to illustrate the power of this now. You can see it happens all together, which is kind of like it was before. But um, actually, wait there. We're going to see how we can really turn this on its head. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to beginning, and I want to offset all of these nulls, okay? So I'm going to come forward with my page down button, two frames, and I'm going to select all of my nulls, shift select them, and then hold hit alt and the end bracket key so it limits each layer to two frames. What I'm going to do then is right click, one of, the, one of them when they're all selected. Go to Keyframe Assistant and Sequence Layers. Click OK. And then what this does is it sequences them all. So I can click and extend them. And click and extend them backwards as well. Um, don't really need to do that to be honest. But um, wh what's happened now is it's offset all of these keyframes. So if I turn off the visibility of the null. And play it through. You can see. Each, each happens slightly offset so they're not doing it all together so that's really powerful now you can spend a lot a lot more time maybe you want it to be you want them all to be off offsetted by four frames so one two three four maybe six five six um, alt end bracket key and then you sequence them again so keyframe assistant sequence layers okay and I'm just going to move these <coughs> keyframes just earlier on like that and then extend out so let's have a look so it goes a bit slower this time um, the way I kind of reset this is come back to the beginning hit the begin square bracket key it lines them all up again and I want to do mine by one two so alt end bracket key right click keyframe assistant sequence layers OK, and let's just drag them all like that. So what we've got is them all happening slightly off offset of time. Now, I just want to select these keyframes now, add a little bit more sort of um, life to it. Come into the graph editor with all of the latter keyframes selected. Um, we're going to click Easy Ease, and make sure you are in Edit Speed Graph. Um, I just want to hold Control and pull these points out so you get this kind of very very it starts off very very quick and then eases into that second keyframe so let's now have a look at what this looks like so let's set it to there I may put motion blur on as well so put motion blur on for the composition and for the shape okay let's have a look at how this looks now <clears throat> so you can see it has that little bit more of quirky life to it 
there you go and you can do this right with any sh you can move from any shape to any shape um, but this is just a lot more powerful than your standard you know path keyframe okay um, I'm going to do further tutorials guys in um, delving into this tool more how we can harness it in projects and really get the best use out of it I'm also going to be covering um, this new immersive video these VR plugins um, it'll get me I've got a VR camera come in, 360 camera, and I'm going to really be making some tutorials of these because these are really powerful. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you got a lot out of it. If you did, if you can, give us a subscribe or a like or whatever. Um, if I've helped you, just give me a hand back, you know. Um, yeah, and thanks for tuning in, and hope it helped. Cheers.